All right, we're back with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, and I just upgraded to the premium service on E6 Connect. So I figured I'd uh, show you guys real quick. I think at the end of one of the videos I showed the setup, but a lot of people keep asking about you know the distance, the T, and to the screen. So this is my setup. You'll see that it's uh, seven feet behind the T, and you'll see that I have 10 feet of T to, uh, to screen. And I'm running a 16 by 10 ratio, which uh, I do have a little black bar at the bottom and top when I'm running E6 because it, uh, it runs in uh, 1080p. So uh, technically set at 4K, but my projector only puts out 1080p. Um, the only other thing I was going to show is, is where that ball is sitting is where I usually hit from. And where that T is is where I drive from. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's actually for sure over six inches. Um, and I have no issues. I know some people were questioning, you know, how far away you could go. It's like a six inch radius. And I definitely push the limits there and don't have any issues. Um, without further ado, uh, I'm in here. Uh, you're unlocked, obviously, with the Mevo Plus once you uh, either do the 300 base, which is uh, like 27 courses and one that rotates every month, or you go with the 600 a year and it gives you 100 courses. Uh, and you get updates to whatever gets released. Uh, it sounds like they're definitely releasing, uh, you know, a, a lot of them as they go. And then you can also get premium courses. I did add on Pebble Beach. I think it's it's one to have. Um, they pay a huge license to Pebble Beach to use the name, so um, they do have to charge individually for it. Uh, Pebble Beach alone, I think, is two ninety nine, so it's not cheap. Um, but let's just go ahead. The games are going to stay the same. Uh, there's only a few of them, uh, closest to the pin, long drive, darts, and then blackout. That's a new one they released. I, uh, Melissa said they're coming out with several right now. They're coming out with a new package. So if you're a subscriber, then you will, uh, you'll get that. I will say you can pay the $2,500 fee and be locked in, um, you know, a one time, but you're not going to get online play with that. You're not going to get the events and you're not going to get future updates. So if you think about that, I mean, I can see between support and the servers necessary, uh, you know, the one-time fee might seem like you're, you're winning, but, you know, they have a lot going on in the background, and, and that's why they have the subscription service. So um, I'm going to go in here really quick. You can see the different types of play have been unlocked now. Stroke, Stableford, Modified, uh, Performance Team Stroke, Match Play, Singles, Scramble, Best Ball. Uh, so all that's been unlocked. I'm just going to go into Stroke Play really quick. I guess since I unlocked Pebble, I might as well show show Pebble uh, since it's not going to be shown on, on some unless you uh, you paid for the premium. You can see how it says premium next to it. I've already downloaded it. Uh, why don't we select the famous number seven here? Um, so can I just do seven holes to play, available holes? I'm trying to remember how I can... Uh, Okay, so do I just uncheck these? This is new for me. Oh, you have to like remove each one. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way just to get rid of them all at once and then just add what you want. But yeah, let's just let's just go to hole number seven. It'll be easy to hit from and it will uh, give us a good demonstration of what, what it looks like outside the demo course. Let that load. Give you guys a view. This is a 4K screen. Um, you know, and I will show you something really quick. So this is uh, uh, Acer's new Predator Triton 900. It's a touch screen. So if you haven't used a touch screen before uh, with E6, I'll tell you what, it is a, uh, it's a huge benefit to have. It's funny, I was just using the mouse, but it's so easy to navigate around if you have a touch screen. This is a powerful laptop that has the touch screen, so it's nice. Um, you know, you can scroll real easy. Um, I don't know if it'll allow scrolling in any of these, but um, you can scroll up and down the courses. Uh, that makes it easy. So if you uh, happen to, you know, be looking at a touch screen, I'll tell you right now, it's really nice to have. So, um, so there is a good view of a 4K monitor. Let you look at that for a second. I'll move to the projector. This is a Sony. Uh, WUXGA that does uh, 
1920 by 1200. Um, and it is not a laser. It is uh, like a three LCD, um, but it has a crystal clear image in my opinion. And it uh, has some great contrast. I don't do any of the shading or anything. Um, I don't find it necessary at all. Um, so that's 106 yards. Uh, I don't think the wind plays a, a factor. I'm just gonna hit like a really light pitching wedge down there. See how that flies. I haven't even swung a golf club today. That's uh, short. Okay. Good idea though of a of a short shot. Give it a little more. I kind of felt like that was gonna be short. I didn't know if being uh, downhill that far it was gonna sky or not. All right. So we'll, oh, it's got me. You know what I'll do? Wonder if I can re. I should have hit Mulligan. Is what I should have hit. Um. Yeah, I can't do it. Darn it all. Ah, oh well. We'll just chip it up and finish the hole. Okay. 58, 54 feet. Definitely thin that one. And you guys are probably going to be able to see putting. which is not always the best right now on the Mevo Plus. What I learned the other day, though, because I'm new to E6, is that when you have the auto align on, you're actually looking to putt dead straight towards the center, and I did not realize that at first. Um, and I noticed that the release is more consistent when you're putting dead straight uh, to center. 24 feet. Look at this. Look at this. In the hole. <laughs> that was actually, if I look at the center mark on the screen, it uh, I hit that dead center. You know, I felt like the speed was good and everything. So, uh, you know, that was heck. That was a good uh, demonstration of the Mevo Plus putting. Um, it's not perfected yet by any means, um, but they're getting you know uh, better. They already released the one firmware update, and they said there's more to come. So, um, I can kind of show you guys the. Uh, I can exit really quick. And I can show you the course list if you want to see it. And you can see how I can scroll on a touch screen. It's nice. But this is the full uh, list of courses if you're going to upgrade to the uh, full 600 a year. There's currently 100. I'm kind of scrolling a little fast. I just don't want to make the video ridiculous. I did ask them the question. You'll see how in some of these they say 1.6. But... Uh, she assured me that all the courses have been updated. So you'll see that these graphics that I just clicked in, and uh, this course, even though it was labeled 1.6, it's been updated uh, with the E6 Connect graphics. So um, that's one more thing just to kind of uh, clear up if anybody was wondering. Like I said, I'm new to E6, so um, I wasn't sure about those things. Hopefully that's a good overview just to understand if you uh, buy a Mevo Plus. You can uh, upgrade with uh, no no upfront fee if you want and just pay the subscription. Or if you want to, you can pay the $2,500, but just understand you're not going to get the online play. Um, you know, you're not going to get future updates or events. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's a choice you have to make. Uh, once again, FlightScope Mevo Plus, E6 Connect with the $600 a year subscription.